We think many Canadians agree that it's almost time for the circus to leave town. We want Canadians to have a vote on whether we want to keep wasting money on the Senate or not. And for that purpose, we have our new mascot, our new campaign mascot. Uh, he's going to be making all kinds of appearances. I couldn't imagine having a political convention in Canada this year without the senator making an appearance. We think he's an outstanding example of the Senate. He's got his hand out. He's got his bag of money. And he's, he and his fellow colleagues are costing us $90 million. So I'm going to... if. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to swing into my uh, formal remarks, and then uh, we'll, we'll take a few questions. Is everybody good to go? Good morning. Thanks for coming today. My name is Gregory Thomas. I'm the Federal Director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, and I want to welcome you on behalf of our 80, 84,000 supporters. We are Canada's largest taxpayers advocacy group, and we advocate for lower taxes, less waste, and more accountable government. Today, we are launching a new campaign. We're calling on the Prime Minister and all parliamentarians to hold a national referendum on abolishing the Senate. We brought along our giant mascot, who may or may not look like a well-known independent senator, to make our point. 2,150 cubic feet of hot air with a grossly inflated sense of his own self-importance and a giant bag of taxpayer money. We believe that every Canadian voter should decide the future of the Senate. We believe that every Canadian voter should decide the future of the Canadian Senate. Not politicians, not judges, and certainly not the unelected senators themselves. Ideally, this national referendum would take place on the same day as the next federal election to save us all a bunch of money. For years, our supporters have been divided on the issue. Some of them wanted to elect the Senate and reform the Senate. Some of them wanted to get rid of it altogether. But their views have started to change. We surveyed our supporters in June. 65% of our supporters want to get rid of the Senate entirely, and 82% of our supporters want a national referendum on the issue. You've currently got senators under investigation by the RCMP for allegedly filling their pockets with taxpayer cash. You've got unelected senators gutting legislation. It was democratically passed in the House of Commons, and this is a parliamentary democracy. It's not a parliamentary, uh, you know, a parliamentary bordello of back-scratching. And until the Prime Minister finally appointed enough senators to form a government majority in the Senate, let's not forget you had unelected opposition senators blocking the elected government's legislation that was adopted by the Canadian Parliament, by the House of Commons, the people we elected. It's outrageous in the 21st century that unelected senators are able to get away with these things. Senate reform has largely been a failure. And meanwhile, we keep paying $90 million every year so unelected senators can undermine and second-guess elected MPs and elected governments. Do we live in a democracy or don't we? We're asking Canadians to go to www.taxpayer.com, join this campaign, sign the online petition, email the Prime Minister, email your MP, like our Facebook page, follow our campaign on Twitter. This senator behind me is looking for a handout. We believe it's time to let Canadians give the Senate the boot instead. 